YouTube viewers. This is my video Samsung Galaxy 551 on Gingerbread 2.3.4. So here it goes. As you can see, this is Samsung GTI 5510. I flashed the Gingerbread update yesterday and for me it's working fine. So as you can see this is gingerbread and the lock screen is a little bit down but it looks mostly like the Galaxy Geo. It's become much more faster and the pull down menu now has five quick toggle buttons. So that's an update. The menu button, which is the application, has changed as well. And you can pinch to view all seven home screens at the same time and remove them if needed. So let's go back. As you can see, the menu It's gone much faster now, and you can, it doesn't stop, you can just keep going like all the new phones out there now. So, if I just, if you just have a quick look, about the phone, and you can see, it's Android version 2.3.4. I don't think you can see it clearly, but you must know now. I haven't rooted it yet. Another thing is, you can click the zoom on the menu, and then you can just rearrange your menu. Okay. So, the update process wasn't that hard. Anyway, the update process wasn't that hard, and you've got widgets. And you've got no live wallpaper support, unfortunately. But benchmark scores have improved widely. I can just give you a short demo. Okay. Full benchmark. Here we go. So you can update to Gingerbread either by going to samfirmware.com and following their instructions or you can just go Google and just type Android Advices Gingerbread for GTI 5510. Both of them work. I did mine from the Sam firmware because I just thought it would be better. So, so far I haven't encountered any problem. And this was my first time flashing something. As you can see, the scores have improved quite vastly. This is the HTC Desire, and this is the Nexus One. It's almost close to the Samsung Galaxy S. The camera has also improved vastly, and it, the pictures don't pixelize anymore. That's basically it.